I thought we'd filled the donut hole, but there was a hole in the donut hole. Sorry, if you haven't seen Knives Out, you have no idea what I'm on about, but I have, and I love Knives Out. And now we've got a trailer for Glass Onion. <laughs> okay, heck of a title, but um, this is the sequel, and it's going to be on Netflix, and I want to see the trailer. Let us take a look. Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. This is it. You expect it? The mystery. Get your hand off of that. You expected a puzzle. <laughs> but for one person on this island, this is not a game. Will you explain it to us then, detective? <laughs> oh, this ass. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> really, Duke? Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Lock the doors. What? Stay in your rooms. Everyone is in danger. Okay. All right. When's the murder mystery start? Ha! Huh? Okay. I, I said very little while it was happening, and and I'm sorry for that. I, I try and offer uh, more than that, but like it, it was rapid fire. So, okay. Okay, this looks like a more active situation than Knives Out was. Um, Cause not, not that Knives Out didn't have its, its more high octane moments. It had a couple here and there, but it was by and large, like a murder is done and it has happened. We're just trying to figure out what happened here. Um, whereas this looks like a bit more of a, if we don't figure this out soon, somebody else is gonna die. And that is a different kind of mystery that sort of takes it from your Sherlock Holmes trying to figure out after the fact to a bit more of your uh, Agatha Christie and then there were none. And actually a fair bit about that made me think of and then there were none. Uh, whether it was some of the odd things that were just uh, about or the mention that they were like on an island, this sort of sense of dread of who's next that like just largely came from the music and the cutting. But I'm like, that that's this has got a and then there were none vibe to it. And I'm here for it. And this is a good cast, which it needs to be. Because like, as much as I love, and I do love Knives Out, Daniel Craig's character, while he is the one that obviously can be transplanted to other scenarios like any detective, like a Hercule Poirot or a Miss Marple or a Sherlock Holmes, so much of that movie hinged on the supporting cast. Whether it was Christopher Plummer in the flashbacks, whether it was Lakeith Stanfield as one of the cops, whether it was Anna de Armas as Marta, well, I honestly, especially Anna de Armas as Marta, or like just all the members of this family, Jamie Lee Curtis, Don Johnson, Chris Evans, Michael Shannon. Like, it was a phenomenal supporting cast. And so it's not just enough to take Daniel Craig's character and move him to another situation. You need to replace that cast. Not like do a one for one exact characters doing the same thing, but like you need an equivalently strong supporting cast. And Ed Norton, Catherine Hahn, Dave Batista, Janelle Monet, Leslie Odom Jr. Like that's that's a good lineup. That's a dang good lineup. And I'm liking that the kind of a replication of some of the senses. Like, you get the sense just in the brief glimpses you get. A lot of these people are going to be jerks, which, good. That's, again, was part of the vibe, that confrontational vibe. Um, so it, it, I do feel like the sense I'm getting from this of it being a more active situation and less of an investigative situation, that's a good way to ratchet things up another notch for uh, a sequel so that it's not just 
planting the detective in another place to solve another crime. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that. There are some great detective stories uh, or even detective film series that have done that. I adore the Thin Man films. Nick and Nora Charles are absolute couple goals. But that ultimately is why, you know, those series petered out. And these days, that kind of thing of just take the detective and give him a new case every time, but it kind of is the same vibe. That's now the realm of TV and streaming. That's not what film series are for. So film series, you do have to bring it up a level or a notch. And yeah, going from a more passive, what happened here, to a more active, you have to listen to me or someone's going to die sort of situation. I don't know why I decided to do his accent out of nowhere there. But like that's that's a decent escalation while keeping it in the murder mystery realm. I, yeah. <laughs> mm. December. December this comes out. I want it. I want it. Soon. Glass Onion. What'd you think of that trailer? What the hell do you think the title means? I think it probably means that bit, like we saw a building where like there was something outside that was like big glass. I'm assuming that's the glass onion. Mm. But whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon is what pays the bills. Like, share, and subscribe also help me out if you are unable to support me that way. But don't worry too much about it. Take a relaxed attitude around here. So you just come on back. Next time you need a break. Time to give my thanks to my highest supporting patrons. That would include Robin Moore, Zubin Lutfula, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Oliver B, Melinda Walters, Imu Delki, Theotha Boyd, Becky Sparks, Pranabi Likes the Poodle, Zach, Idolin, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Adam RDL Taylor, Shane Ross, Shaley Gourlay, Brendan LaRose, and TT. <laughs> if you want your name said, while these guys try and distract me, consider looking at the rewards on my Patreon. 